always strange, right? When you sort of film these things where you have to kind of put yourself at the precipice of death. Um, <laughs> um, you know, it's never, never a comfortable place to, to start with. Um, but at the same time, you're always sort of blown away by how kind of cool they make it look and like the way that they have the whole rig and, you know, everybody's there making sure everything is as safe as possible. Um, but yeah, it's a great scene. It's sort of a great sort of red herring to kind of stick in there. Wanting to see a face that she knows and wanting to see some, you know, to have some kind of support in this really terrifying moment. And who does she find but Mr. Christie? It's not, it's not exactly the person she was hoping for. Um, you know, look at Mark is, Mark Lewis Jones is just one of these incredible actors. He is so soulful and you know when you're gonna go and go into a scene with him that he's going to just give you all of the things that you need and more and surprise you and all of those things. So, you know, it's nice that you don't, you know, look at, you do your own prep and you, you come prepared to set, but then you let it just flow organically. And, you know, I think it's such a, that relationship is so interesting that dynamic they have together is so interesting um you know when when claire and tom first meet she she sort of dismisses him as this sort of pious bigot and and slowly over the, the last season and and now you know he just all these different layers sort of be revealed of who he is and the pain that he experienced and then you understand why he is the way he is and so to see this depth of emotion that he has and the loss that he experienced and and then you know, the love that he has for Claire, it's re it's so beautiful. You know, I just, I loved all of that stuff. I loved the, the just that relationship and how we got to unpick it and how it grows on, on the show. It was a real, real treat. She knows that he didn't kill Malva. She knows there's something else. You know, the loss of Malva was so, I mean, that was such a traumatic thing for Claire to have to, you know, go through as much as everybody else, you know, there's, the lying and, and the, she knew that, it, you know, Jamie didn't do anything, but then it's when you can't, the tragedy of it all, I think she is just something she couldn't quite um, accept. And then to see that it continues and that, you know, there's going to be another death because of, of something and she doesn't quite know what it is either. So um, yeah, really, really sad, but, but also beautiful stuff in a weird way. Yes, we see him again. There is a continuation of this story and it may have another twist or turn. Oh, I mean, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have a romantic kiss on a boat, don't you? <laughs> um, you know, I think these reunions, you know, we, you have to make them feel like they are what they are, which is they, they you know, I think this are, these are this couple whenever they are torn apart whenever they are separated it's like they lose a limb and whenever they come back together again it's like their life their full life force returns to them um and and that's what it feels like for them you know it's like they don't function fully without each other some may call that codependent or you know a big love story but <laughs> They sort of stuck him on a on a dinghy, but I think it was just a couple of like water barrels tied together. Uh, it was a bit precarious, and uh, those those costume boots he wears, I don't think there's a lot of grip in them. So um, we were docked. We were docked at a port in in Scotland, but you know it's still the sea. There's still slight waves going on, and uh, you know I think I think you know he might have had a little a little bit of a, a sweat flop sweat going on trying to get over that uh the side of that boat but um yeah I mean that it, that feels like such a long time ago you know it's so so it is I mean it's a, almost a year and a half ago that we filmed that and and but yeah it it's got that romance to it you know it really it really does I don't know I think that maybe that's the sort of I think once he concludes that part of the story, that there is maybe something that he can put to rest. There's a, 
I think a satisfaction perhaps in getting revenge or or finishing that part of that story. Um, very quickly then we're dealing with the Revolutionary War and I think for Jamie that is, you know, that brings up an awful lot of complications. Obviously, he has previously stood on the opposite side of the battlefield to someone he loved dearly being Murta. Um, and he swore then that he would never fight for the British again. So he has picked his side and what that might mean and who he might meet on the battlefield. Um, you know, that becomes a huge part of our storyline and, and how that weighs on him. So for Claire, there is a, a, a real sense this season that last season she kind of fell apart and her psyche fell apart and, and there was a real breakdown of, of how she functions. Um, but I think this season, in many ways, you know, there's an awful lot of trauma and, and, and things happening, but in a weird way, she's kind of more mentally capable of coping with it. And so I think she's there as a support to Jamie quite often this season um, when he's dealing with some of the stuff that's, that's really um, emotionally taxing for him. Sophie has always been super talented. It's just so nice to see all of our younger actors who came in you know, they've just blossomed on this show and, and Soph has so many amazing um, storylines this season, especially. And I was super fortunate. I got to also direct her in second unit this season. And it's just such a privilege to work with her. Like she, her, her talent is huge. She brings such like um, depth and emotion to her role as, as Brianna. And this season, you know, I think she really knocks it out of the park. But, you know, it's I think you just sort of stand back and let them, you know, I, I think for me, what I try to do as a director is just help fine tune things. It's always been the way that I've appreciated being directed myself. You know, it's like, if you see someone is connected to the material and understands what they're doing, then you you let them just get on with the job and you're there as a help if they ever need it, you know? Um, I, I, you know, I was so fortunate the scene that I got to do with her. She was just uh, like amazing in it, you know? And it is, I mean, she had, We'll, you know, this is one of the joke. We 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 had some stomach grumbling issues, but other than that, <laughs> it was just beautiful. I mean, she's she's a beautiful actress, and it was just really lovely to be able to sit on the other side of the camera and watch her give you everything and more. So. I mean, you know, it just it's amazing to me just how close to the battles these these field hospitals were um you know and you sort of there's a, always been a sense of the women sending the men off to battle but there were women always going along with them and and sort of working in these field hospitals you know claire always has to deal with this thing of she's a surgeon but she's never really recognized as one there's a lot of you know military surgeons there and and, and we sort of come we have to deal with that sort of thing as well. But um, it was just incredible. I just think the scope and the scale of these battles and, and the, the scale of the, the field hospitals that they had and, and um, everything that was going on with that, it was just really, yeah, it was, it was really cool. I think she functions in a very high way in those, in those circumstances. You know, even though it's precarious and there's a lot of fear and also worry, um, it's also where her skills are most useful. And, and she knows what to do. So um, yeah, she, she functions well then.